Hi guys, I just want to show you um, Revelation and the chapters and the sequence that there's actually two sequence of timeline events that go from literally the beginning of the tribulation events to the end. <clears throat> and I think this is why I've had trouble presenting it in such a way that I'm trying to keep it in order of chapters but then trying to put it in some sort of chronological order and it's near impossible um, so let's just have a look and see well the beginning of the timelines you'll see will be in green and the end of the times li timelines will be in red these are all the chapters of revelation obviously there's two rows of each chapter to make it a bit easier to look at now the first three chapters of Revelation are things which happen during the time of Revelation. Jesus talking in the present tense. The Revelation 4 is for a future past Revelation, which is the time we'll be living in now, current time. And Revelation 5. Um, but let me try and sort of presentate this in a kind of chronological order so it's easier for you to understand at the beginning of the second timeline, so to speak, uh, begins in Revelation 12, where you have a great sign in the heavens, the woman clothed with the sun, moon under her feet, which actually began in 2017, which leads on to this beginning event where the man-child is caught up to God's throne, which happens just before the first passing of the throne. This happens Actually, in Revelation 12, it says the man-child is caught up to God's throne. Revelation 5, it says there's no, uh, there's no one there to take the scroll with seven seals. Um, no man in heaven or on earth or under the earth. And then suddenly, the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, appears in the throne. So, caught up to the throne, caught up to the throne. Same event. This is what I mean, is like these two starting points are the same. And at that point, black, Satan is cast down to the earth. And then he goes off to make war with Israel. Okay? And this could well be before the seals activate, because then you have the seven seals. Um, which leads on to the first passing of the throne and the first rapture, but you have the first six seals, and then bang, the throne hits us, um, and then the marking of the 144,000 happen. A great multitude is caught up to God's throne, this is the first passing. Okay, and then leads on to Revelation 8, uh, in which the seventh seal is opened. And then it moves straight on, straight on, so you have the seventh seal and the beginning of the seven trumpets beginning all in Revelation 8. Okay, so seven trumpets begin. Trumps one to six and then seventh is delayed. So you have trumpets one to four, five and six, and then in Revelation 10, the seventh angel is delayed. Because the second world, which is the two witnesses, has to happen first. Okay? Oh, I know that's quite confusing. But in this timeline, the dragon's been cast down. He, he goes off to make war with Israel. And when he realizes he's been thrown down to world, earth, he goes off to make war with Israel. And Israel flees into the wilderness. This will mark the beginning of the, the last three and a half years. Okay, and the Antichrist will come and rule for the last three and a half years, Revelation 13. The last three and a half years of Revelation 13. But Revelation 11 is also the last three and a half years, but it's the story of the two witnesses. And at the end of that, Um, at the end of the two witnesses, the seventh angel sounds because the second passing of the throne happens when the two witnesses ascend. Uh, right in that very hour, there's a massive earthquake as he locks on for the second time. And the seventh angel sounds and there are great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of the world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ. They shall reign forever. 
and then the throne locks off in Revelation 11 and you know that the throne is locking off for the second time because it says and there is voices because there will be voices and thunders and lightnings and a great earthquake and it's followed by great hail as we pass through the inner tail that's how you know it's the second passing and all that is mentioned in Revelation 11 but obviously 12 like I said this this all happens in line with this so you sort of have in mind the bolster forward the trumpet judgments happen and then 11 the last three and a half years begins and so too does it happen in Revelation 13 there and then we'll pump. And at the end of them, when they're finished, you see 11 again. Revelation 11 is coloured twice, duplicate. The two things happen there. And um, you have the two witnesses, and then you have the second passing of the throne happening. And you have the Antichrist finishing his three and a half years, just like the two witnesses. Then you have the second passing of the throne happening. It's given in much detail in Revelation 14. It talks about the catching up of the um, the two uh, the 144,000. Uh, it then talks about the great harvest of the earth. There we have uh, seventh angel sounding, lock on seventh angel sounding. Uh, 144,000 be bought. The two witnesses also that ascend. Jesus comes and he reaps the harvest, the dead. The angel comes and he reaps the living, the fruits. Now Revelation 15, through um, to 16, the all judgments are poured out. And when they're finished, Again, voices and thunders and lightnings and a great earthquake. Uh, this all happens. Revelation 16, seven bowl judgments poured out. Alright, so I've added <coughs> seven bowl judgments in there, just to make it easier to understand. Uh, not leave it out. <coughs> so we have the um, Revelation 14, 144,000 the court. Um, the great harvest happens, seventh angel. Uh, you know, the last trump, the sound of a voice, uh, voice of an archangel. Revelation um, 15, 3 to 16, the bold judgments. Bold judgments are. Primarily in 16, so that's why I put it as that. But then 16 is also the lock off of the uh, throne for the second and last time. And there are voices and thunders and lightnings and an earthquake and great hail because we go through the inner tail of the throne of God. There are two tails the inner tail with great hail. Uh, stones of a weight of a talent, 66 pounds and more. You have the outer tail, which is smaller rocks, one to eight pounds, and it's mixed with blood, fiery blood and hail. So first passing, we got the earth goes through the outer tail, small rocks, and for the second last passing, the earth goes through the inner tail, which is much larger rocks. And then after that comes, in Revelation chapters, um, standards anyway, uh, you have the judgment of the Great Hall in 17 and 18, which is Babylon Rome. So the mysteries of Babylon Rome and all her sins and everything is revealed in 17. And the beast that carries her and her identity, then she's destroyed in 18. And then 
Uh, the Battle of Armageddon happens at 90. The Beast and the False Prophet are destroyed. The Antichrist and the False Prophet are destroyed. And 20. Satan is bound. And the thousand years of Christ begin. And then Satan is loosed. And then he's destroyed. And he's cast in the lake of fire. And then the Great White Throne Judgment happens. And then 21 through to 22 is the eternal life. I'm talking about the New Jerusalem, God, uh, where the earth, our earth is gone, and then the new earth and the new heaven takes its place. And this is eternal life, all this. Now, interestingly enough, I just want to throw this one in here, but, you know, God is good with numbers. Right, check this out. First passing of the throne, first rapture, sorry. During the first passing of the throne happens between seal 6 and 7, which happens in Revelation 7. Okay, now the great harvest happens here at the second passing when the 144,000 and the two witnesses ascend, and the great multitude, and the seventh trumpet sounds. Well, that second Pass, passing rapture happens on Revelation 14, so we have 7, 14, first rapture of the great multitude of living, second rapture of the 144,000 that were left, the two witnesses that were left, the dead and the alive in Christ, and then you have all these events, and then 21, which is again 7 on, 7 chapters on, it talks about the eternal life. So we have salvation, seven, salvation of four, and salvation of the eternal life in 21, 7, 14, 21. So I find that very easy. So it's just a case of how to presentate this is the real hassle. Obviously they all move and they'll fit in here when you understand it. But as a case of revelation, do you go through Revelation as it is? Preach about the seven trumpet, uh, seven man child being caught up, the seven seals happening, then the first passing of the throne, then the seven trumpets happening, then the temple and the two witnesses come for three and a half years, and then the end comes at the second passing of the throne, and the seventh angel sounds. And then, then do you move on and say, Revelation 12, which has already begun in 2017, but when the man child's caught up, it's the same event as back there. Satan will be cast down, which he's not yet, and he go off to war, make war with Israel. And she flees, and the Antichrist comes for three and a half years, which is the same three and a half years as the two witnesses. And then the same event happens this, when the two witnesses. A set resurrect the second passing of the throne happens and 144,000 are gone the dead and the living are gone and the ball judgment is poured out and then that's the end of that and then it's Armageddon time destruction Rome, Armageddon and judgment and thousand year reign thousand year reign and judgment I mean, and then the eternal life or do you just take out all your slides and just do it in a chronological order and just say sign in the heavens happened in 2017 We're waiting on the man child to be caught up to the throne and when he does that's fulfilled that's fulfilled and that only happens until the angel cries out who is worthy to take the book of seven seals and the, you know the child's caught up child's caught up <clears throat> seven seals start, dragons thrown down, seven seals continue, the trumpet judgments continue. Um, you know, it's just uh, quite an awkward way to do it. So, what's your, what's your thoughts to do it in a revelation order, or to just do it in a chronological order and just fire slides from both timelines at once? Let me know what you think. God bless you all. Amen.